Hello everybody, this is Locke Minecraft, and this is the sec second episode of setting up a server. The next thing you're going to want to do is set up a static IP and port forwarding. So to do that, you're going to want to open up the control panel. This is for Windows 7. Go into Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. You're going to see this little connections thing. Click on it. Properties. You can slow this down if you need to. Internet Protocol version 4. You're going to want to hit Properties again on that. And what you're going to want to click is use the following IP address. You're going to want to type in 192.168.1. something out of the normal range. So 144 will work fine. Subnet mask, that's fine. Default gateway, 192.168.1.1. That's your router. And this is the little more complicated part. Use the following DNS server. So to get the DNS server, domain name server is what it stands for, you're going to want to go into your command prompt, just search for it on Windows, and type in ipconfig slash all. You're going to get a ton of numbers here. You're just going to want to scroll up until you see the one that says DNS servers. Oh, nope, not that one. There's, it says it twice. DNS servers. And here you go. You'll get two numbers. Put the first one as your preferred DNS server and the second one as your alternate. Then you can close your command prompt and hit OK. Um, you can just hit yes on that close this close this there you go now you have a static IP every time you log in you will have the same internal IP address so how this works is whenever you connect to your router you're given us a within router IP address so for instance 144 then any traffic coming in it'll say which port to go to but Minecraft doesn't know where to go so you have to port forward so you're gonna wanna go into your router and type 192.168.1.1 which is your router for most people then go to applications and gaming and you're going to want to create an external port in internal port. Well, not create, but forward from external port 25565 to internal port 25565 protocol, TCP, UDP. If you don't have this both option, just create two, one for each. And you're going to want to forward to the internal IP you set up. For instance, in my case, 144. So that's how it works. You're going to want to set enabled to true. If you do not have access to your router and it prompts you for a password that you do not know, talk to your parents. If you live in a dorm, um, you're going to want to talk to your college just to see if they can help you out. Um, that's pretty much it for port forwarding. You're going to want to save settings. I'm not going to because it's already saved. And uh, that's pretty much how you port forward. Now people are going to be able to connect with your external IP. So you're going to search what is my IP. You'll get a number right here from Google or you can go to whatismyip.com and they will have it too. You can copy this in and if you open Minecraft you'll be able to connect with that IP. So I've copied it. Now I'm going to go into the vanilla server I created yesterday. I'm going to double click run dat server and I'm going to open Minecraft and try and connect with my external. Alright here I am in game and as you can see I have there one that's connecting with localhost and one that's using my external IP. If you double click on this one you will be able to join it or just use the join button and they will both join the same server. So this is the last episode in my series, and uh, I hope it helped. I tried to make a really comprehensive one, cover everything, how to get your DNS server, how to port forward, everything. If you have any questions, comment below or tag me with at sign, capital I-R-O-H, I-R-O, and I will respond there too. I'm active on that forum, one of my favorite places on the internet. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for setting up a bucket server. Um, I'll make sure I link the two tutorials together in case you missed the first one. Thank you for watching. Bye.